Hey everybody, uh, I thought today I would give you a little bit of an overview of Teslanda and how it works. Uh, just a quick uh, video here to kind of go over some of the basics. Um, so this is the former engine compartment. This is now the battery compartment or part of it. Um, I'm using a battery out of a Chevy Volt and it's kind of in a T shape. So you can see there's, there's part of the T here and then the other part uh, runs uh, underneath the uh, where the transmission tunnel was uh, about 393 volts at full charge and 16 kilowatt hours of capacity so to fire up the car for a drive uh, the first thing you do is turn on the giant kill switch uh, that'll allow the contactors to run and then Come inside here and this is the control center so the first thing we're going to do is uh, turn on the dash which is here and we'll let that boot uh, my buddy mike made this for me and it's all run on raspberry pi um, so we can do a lot here as far as data logging and uh, can interception and uh, just data display so we'll let that boot and then we're going to start firing up some stuff here. Uh, I designed it so everything, if it's up, it's good. So you just start clicking these up until everything's good. Uh, what I have here is uh, my line lock and my brake interrupt. And those, what it actually is is line lock off and then brake interrupt off. Um, the HSR controller takes a uh, input from the, the brake pedal so that I can't hit the gas and the brake at the same time. That's a Tesla thing. Uh, but what I did is I put an interrupt switch in here so I can hit the brake and gas at the same time in case I want to do a burnout. Uh, dash is on, uh, regen is, is enabled, uh, creep is a feature where it's kind of functions like an automatic transmission where you can um, kind of let your foot off the brake and the car will slowly go forward. Uh, charging. So if that's down, I can enable charging, and then uh, coolant pump one, coolant pump two, and then the electric fans, which don't exist right now. And then I have uh, drive neutral and reverse, the main key, and my emergency disco. So the dash is booted, and uh, we just got a little Easter egg going on here with some, some high score rankings and then a, a demo mode. We kind of treated it like a 80s or 90s arcade game and it just kind of goes through this little sequence until we decide to fire up the uh, the main system here and then we'll flick on the key so we've pre-charged we're showing 391 volts at the pack and 11.6 volts um, of 12 volt battery so Basically, we are good to go. Oh, and I'm gonna fire on this thing too. We're gonna do a little zero to 60 test here and see what we can get. So we'll fire up the VVOX and we'll shut the hood. And we should be good to go. So foot on the brake, select drive, we are in drive, and now away we go. All right, I'm gonna turn the video off from this phone. I have a um, GoPro going right there, so hopefully it captures the zero to 60.
All right, uh, we're gonna try that again. The V box was being a turd, it wasn't giving me a satellite signal, so now we're gonna go back out.